joined by Fox 35 Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Jamie King. Jamie, good morning. We should see some of the biggest impacts later on tonight yes. going into tomorrow morning. Precisely. So prepare now. Prepare now, yes. And again, uh, you know, it's important to know that there's going to be a lot of wind, a lot of rain, but the severe weather risk and element will fuse together uh, roughly by around late afternoon into the evening okay. and go to the overnight care line. So we've got our eyes on it. Our team of meteorologists staffing the storm center all throughout this big event rolling toward us. Our storm alert days now in effect have been for a couple days late this afternoon through early Sunday uh, and you can see the heavy rain and wind. We certainly anticipate that and all the while we'll be here monitoring keeping you safe here should severe weather strike. So the outline now as we run our live side radar here at Fox 35 and our partners over at Fox 13 running their live radar as well to give us a better looking glass of what's happening to our west out over the Gulf of Mexico. I like to call it the power of the Fox television station network. So we've got you covered a big protective dome across the region showing this light rain generally now you can see moving in from the south and southeast some of the coastal sites seeing some heavier rain over the offshore waters and out toward Tampa there's been some sporadic areas of more moderate rain but ultimately we watch and wait as we track this storm over the Gulf now looking a lot different than it did just this time yesterday as it gets a little better look and later today it'll have kind of that hooked look to it a real arced nature of this as this big pocket of low pressure rolls our way a lot of moisture too to contend with so certainly we will look for the heavy rain there are active flood watches now uh, in effect for Marion County uh, until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning so let's take you on down to the scene we specialize in local so we'll give you a look here at all the communities and counties showing that rise in rain potential through the lunchtime hour and there'll be little spotty areas of heavy rain and some thunderstorms developing as we get to about seven tonight as we course through sundown again a bit before seven it looks as though we'll start to fill in some of the heavier rain it's at that time we could see some rounds of severe weather moving through some of these cells here that are peppering in that are more individualized rather than part of this big lob moving in those are the ones you got to watch out for again as far as the tornadic risk and maybe some damaging wind gusts we are marked for that uh, do not forget. So as we get to midnight uh, early Sunday morning, still kind of an ongoing thing here. Modeling showing another ribbon of potent rain here and storms by about 3 a.m. But watch what happens as we get to about 5 and a 6 o'clock tomorrow Sunday morning. The low begins to lift to the north and drags all the mess with it. And that's when we get this beautiful punch of drier, cooler air. So that'll help to stabilize the local weather atmosphere and return us to a much better looking forecast overall. So again, we've got the uh, severe storm threat today. Later afternoon through tonight. This is a level two likely mode of severe weather for all the counties here, and this is a level one possible risk over our far northwestern counties. For those of you watching in Fox 51 WOGX country, we're watching and tracking your skies, rest assured. And by tomorrow, much of this will happen before about 5 or 6 a.m. as I showed you that rapid clearing in the forecast model. So this may actually fall off before sunrise as we uh, get into tomorrow Sunday. But regardless, we've got to keep our guard up as the heavy rains very impactful for the area around two to five inch amounts when it's all said and done coastal flood threat super high surf coastal erosion tornadic risk these tornadoes are notorious and forming very quickly and moving very quickly that's at a medium risk and the gusty winds again uh, breaching the 50 mile per hour mark and gusts closer to the Atlantic shoreline less friction over water so it's a total possibility so watch out for that worst weather across Orange counties we look at a pop at a Windermere Lake Buena Vista to Wedgefield looks like 6 p.m. today through 5 a.m. tomorrow Sunday we expect gusty winds heavy rain that I isolated tornadic risk and the rainfall amounts there on the order of about two to three inches. Seemingly, we always see a little pockets of even higher localized amounts. So I would expect that. Here's a look at the rain amounts again on our exclusive Fox model between now and as we go through the day on Sunday and you can see fitting that forecast quite nicely. So the outlook for temps now 50s northwest counties 60s south of that run of 70s now as you course down to the space coast and gusty winds boy these winds only increasing going into the 30 mile per hour mark at Cocoa Beach and Melbourne then a little lessened over inland areas that will be changing. So celebration today on this storm alert day rain rain and more rain boy and we start to mix in some uh, hardier storms storms here after about three or four o'clock this afternoon through sundown. That's when that heightened risk of severe weather will slowly phase in. Forecast highs in the 70s for us today. All righty, I've gone with an impact day for Tuesday. Look at that, a high of only about 58. Some local breezes early make the things feel a little chillier for our central Floridians, no doubt about it. For the kiddos heading to the bus stop again, looks as though we'll see temperatures coming on up through Thursday, Friday, 71 for us by next Friday. Lows are at around 54. That's your forecast, friends. Caroline, back to you.